But alright, let's talk about this attack right here. You're in day number seven, Tribe Academy. We have won every war so far. Tigers of War here finished with 37 stars. So we gotta beat them here in day number seven if we wanna win every single war. I'm gonna be hitting base number five. Go ahead and look at it. Laser Girl coming in with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Easy Girl OP. Laser Girl. <laughs> Um, so we're going to be coming in with a blimp hybrid here. We're going to drop three loons on the archer tower, blimp in behind, just to get this inferno tower and the wizard tower and the cannon down. No rage spell or anything needed. We'll drop the queen over here at nine, let her walk up. Wall break in right there. One yeti to funnel the outside. Might pull the CC, might not, we'll see. Going to have to probably freeze this inferno tower to let the queen get through it, rage her up. Poison the CC. I gotta be careful. I'm only taking one poison, so I gotta be really careful. If there's headhunt, I mean, if there's a uh, super minions, I have to make sure to poison the super minions and just use my second freeze probably for the headhunters. Let the queen keep going into this compartment here. I'll drop a second yeti up higher later on. Uh, another wall breaker to come all the way downtown. Get that junction for the clan castle and town hall. Then I'm gonna drop my BK to walk up from six toward three. Miners from here, this angle here going straight into the eagle for a scatter shot. I'll even drop a little headhunter to help the king. Drop an early heal, probably then pop the warden ability. Then I have a second heal for the back end. Maybe I still have my second freeze. We'll see. We'll see. That's the plan right there. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. See if it works. Then we can check out the stats of the war so far. Make sure the army comp is good. I'm taking a third wall breaker just in case they have some sort of tricky spring trap that catches my second wall breaker early. I'd rather be safe than sorry because I'm really relying on that queen charge to get the town hall or else this might be a one star. Double yeti, triple wizard, two headhunters. I think we're good to go. So let's do it. Let's do it. And... We're in. One, two, three. Blimp. There. Queen. Up top. Boom. Skelly trap. Not a big deal. We'll still get the inferno. Boom. Yeti man with wizard, first wall breaker. What is this CC? Oh, had to use that second freeze. Come on, Queen, get through the Inferno, please. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Eagle Artillery is already activated, which is not ideal. Wallbreaker was successful. Let's drop this to hopefully tank the shots from the Eagle off of the Queen. And let's start the hybrid. We found the Teslas. Queen's doing okay. You have to pop her ability though. Her queen's gonna die to the enemy queen, which is not ideal. We might get a healer swap. We'll drop that minion up there. We got headhunters, that's good. The healer swap might just be OP. Yeah, the healer swap's gonna save it. Boom. That should be a triple. Don't even need the RC ability. Ooh, land clashing.
Plenty of time for cleanup as well, I believe. Yeah, should be. Nice! Yeah. Minion on the top side. I'll go ahead and pop this RC ability just to make sure. There we go. Feels good. 10 seconds to spare. Now we can take a look at the stats. Ooh! An SLS coming in with the five gifted subs. What a god. Thank you so much, buddy. I was going to put Tribe at 9 for 12 so far today in day number 7, which is actually really good. Really good. They are only 7 for 15, so we basically got the win at this point. We just got a 2-star out and make sure we don't miss any attacks. Um, yeah. So here we are. Once again, the stats. Tribe, get, or Tribe Academy. We are 9 for 12. The enemies already used all their attacks, and they are 7 for 15. So we basically already won the war. Let's go ahead and see if I can get another triple here on day number seven on this weird looking base here with the town hall way in the middle. We're going to try an OP queen charge Lalo here. I'm going to start by dropping the queen right about here, right next to this builder hut. Then a yeti and a wizard over here to help funnel the left side. I'm going to drop the healers. I'm going to try to wait until I have to drop the healers to drop them because I really don't want them to switch over to the yeti or something stupid. In fact, I might just drop the Yeti Wizard first. I think I will, even though it costs a little bit of time. I think I'm willing to sacrifice like five seconds. Drop the Yeti, drop the Wizard, then I'll drop the Queen. As soon as the King aggros, I'm going to drop the Headhunter, probably the Healers when I have to. Um, once Queen is killing the King, I'm going to drop a Giant here to pull the CC, let it come over to the Queen. She can kill that. Then Queen's going to ideally walk this way after she shoots the Air Defense. And then once she gets rid of the storage in the clan castle, she should naturally just step inside. I don't even think I have to funnel. She'll shoot the expo. She'll shoot the inferno tower. And I think I might have to send in some loons for this bomb tower just to make sure she keeps walking to the right. And I'm okay with that. She's going to walk to the right. I'll drop the BK right about here. That way he walks up and around this way. I'll probably give him a wizard if I have to. Or a minion or something. I'm going to wall break here on the inferno tower. Then I'm going to wall break again to the RC platform and Queen will be able to charge the Town Hall. She'll get the Sweeper. She'll also be able to reach the Single Target Inferno, the Wizard Tower, the Archer Tower. I mean, she'll be able to reach everything with her ability. I can just pop it there at the end. Start the Lalo on the bottom side of the base here with the Stone Slammer right away going into this Queen Scattershot compartment. Send a bunch of loons. Send the Hound. More loons this way. I'll even send a Headhunter to help the Queen. Pop the Warden ability early. I'll probably even have the RC with the um charge that's the plan right there we're going to execute it after we watch this live attack because somebody else is live somebody else is live and it's nicholas on base number seven so let's see what he's bringing in coming in with a queen charge hybrid here dropping that king right at six o'clock queen he wants her to go inside this wall break here toward that multi-target inferno and toward the enemy queen she could reach the scatter in the expo, but we'll have to see what kind of pathing she takes here. She might just skip that scatter. I don't know. Gonna kill the enemy queen there. Gonna freeze. Yeah, I think maybe that was needed. Queen gets back up to full health. Go for the scatter queen. Ooh, she's gonna skip the scatter completely. I don't know if I like that. That scatter is gonna end up hitting his healers. Yikes, that's not good news. He doesn't funnel the Builder Hut, which means Queen walks away and the Scatter hits the healers. Can they get outside the range? Well, they do. Wow. Okay. So the healers are kind of safe, just barely. How about that? Wizard at 9 o'clock. Queen's going to keep going into this channel. She's going to pull the CC soon. Yep. Hound and Ice Golem. Okay. Interesting CC comp there. The next wall break is going to give her access to... Not the core, but she will have access to the multi... The RC and everything on the top side, but still she won't be able to reach that town hall. We're dropping the siege barracks at 3 o'clock and hybriding in from 6. I guess just hoping that the hybrid troops naturally path into that town hall. Where are we going to drop the RC? He's saving the RC still. Test the farm at 12 o'clock. We're dropping the RC from an angle to try and get the town hall, but she's not going for the town hall. Oh no, guys. Hogs from 3 o'clock might help push the road champ back to the town hall. No. Oh, rip, Nicholas. Lucas with the 10 bits. Thank you so much. Uh-oh, we got a headhunter to help get through the king. 
We got one hog going to the town hall and he pulls the tornado. Now the road champ's going and we got a freeze. Okay. And all the miners are going. Queen dies, which is unfortunate. We will get the town hall, but is it going to be enough to push through the rest of the base? I don't know. That giga in, uh, bomb's going to do a lot of damage here. Nope. Okay. And the miners dodge it. That's nice. But with only a free spell left, I dare say it's going to be a two star fail. We don't have the RC ability either. Actually, hold up. That freeze was OP. Do we have enough miners to get through the Tesla farm? Unfortunately, the RC is going to die. He goes down, but we got the warden at full health. We got at least like 10 or 12 miners. A wizard behind. We got some loons for the cannon, and we dropped those archers too early on the storage, so it's going to be a time fail, if anything. I think it is maybe a time fail, unless there's a skelly trap that stalls us up. Oof. Nice try here from Nicholas, but we're going to fall short on time. Two Teslas and an Archer Tower. We're going to get that topside Tesla before the time runs out. And it's going to finish at 95%. Nice try to Nicholas, but this one just barely not going to get through in time. Dang. Nice try to him. But now here we go with our plan. Let's not waste any time. Let's do it before I forget the plan. Make sure the army camp army composition is correct. Got a ton of minions to help it clean up. Two wizards. Uh, three wall breakers. Just in case the second one doesn't target the right wall. Four freezes to help Queen get through the charge. Because she is charging three single target infernos. Here we go. Let's do it. I have a blimp just in case the Queen charge doesn't work. I can just blimp the town hall. Let's do it. Got the queen right there. That's the farm. Oh, this might be really bad. Air defense, please don't shoot the healers. Damn it. I'm just going to go ahead and get that bomb tower out of the way. Now the funnel is not made. This king did not make the funnel that I needed. Do we expect Queen to just naturally go in? I'm going to use the RC here to help out. No, Queen! Still might work. Hold up. Oh, Queen. Queen, you're being a rascal, Queen. All right, Queen's going to stay on the outside of the base. That's okay. We didn't want her to go inside anyway. That'd be too easy. Um, shoot. How do we save this? Boom. Queen had to pop her ability. Drop that. How is the enemy queen still alive? <laughs> I used three headhunters and I had a dragon and the enemy queen took like no damage. That's incredible. Rip. Ah. That king did not make a funnel at all, which is unfortunate. Which means we're going to finish here at like an 88% two star. Dang. 
I should have used that warden ability earlier for the headhunters. And I, I was saving it to see if I can get the core uh, troops from this from the blimp in the warden ability. But the warden never even pathed over there. So let's see. And there was a ground bow. The reason I popped the BK ability early was because Queen wouldn't have gone in if I didn't do that. Um, so right here, I pop BK ability early because um, if I don't, the Tesla's still up and Queen would have stayed on the outside of the base, guaranteed. She wouldn't have gone in for the Inferno. That's why I popped BK ability early. In hindsight, I think it might have been better if I had just, even though I only had 13 loons left, that's why I didn't want to use more loons, I probably should have just used another two loons and got the Tesla down. And that way I could wait and drop the BK later. I think it actually would have been better. Because then the queen would have gotten the town hall. Yeah, the BK got wrecked by the warden, honestly. A nice try there, but that one's not going to work out. It's going to be an 88% too. I did triple my first attack though. So we are currently at 37 stars tied with them. And we still have one more attack to do. And it's Itsu himself who has the last attack. So probably safe to say we should be winning this war.